marine vessels, from cruise ships to cargo carriers, generate significant amounts of sewage during their operations. The discharge of untreated sewage into the marine environment can have detrimental effects on water quality and marine ecosystems. To address this concern, the maritime industry employs sophisticated systems known as marine sewage treatment plants. A sewage treatment plant, also known as a wastewater treatment plant, is a facility designed to treat and process sewage or wastewater before it is discharged into the environment or returned to the water cycle. The primary goal of sewage treatment plants is to remove or reduce contaminants and pollutants from the wastewater to protect public health, the environment, and water quality. Treating sewage on marine vessels is of utmost importance to prevent environmental pollution for several reasons. Protection of marine ecosystems Untreated sewage contains pollutants, nutrients, and pathogens that can harm marine ecosystems. Discharging untreated sewage into the sea can lead to the growth of harmful algae, oxygen depletion, and disruptions to the balance of aquatic life. Water quality preservation Sewage treatment on marine vessel helps maintain the quality of surrounding water bodies. The discharge of untreated sewage introduces pollutants that can degrade water quality, making it unsafe for aquatic life and other marine organisms. Public health and safety Contaminated water resulting from untreated sewage discharge poses risks to public health. Pathogens present in raw sewage can cause waterborne diseases, affecting not only marine life but also individuals who come into contact with polluted waters. Compliance with environmental regulations International regulations, such as Marple Annex 4, set standards for the discharge of sewage from ships. Treating sewage on marine vessels is essential for compliance with these regulations, ensuring that the maritime industry operates in an environmentally responsible manner. Sustainable tourism In regions dependent on marine tourism, untreated sewage discharge can harm the attractiveness of coastal destinations. Implementing proper sewage treatment practices on vessels contributes to the sustainability of marine tourism industries. Global Environmental Responsibility As part of global efforts to protect the environment, treating sewage on marine vessels reflects a commitment to responsible and sustainable maritime practices. It aligns with broader goals of reducing pollution and minimizing human impact on marine ecosystems. In summary, treating sewage on marine vessels is crucial for safeguarding marine environments, preserving water quality, ensuring public health and safety, and complying with international regulations aimed at preventing pollution from maritime activities. Inlet Screening System the inlet system screens incoming sewage to remove larger solids such as debris, plastics, and other non-biodegradable materials. This helps prevent clogging and damage to downstream equipment. Primary Treatment Tank This tank receives the screen sewage and allows for the initial separation of solids and liquids. The heavier solids settle at the bottom as sludge through sedimentation. Biological Treatment Unit In this component, aerobic or anaerobic biological processes are employed to break down organic matter in the sewage. Bacteria and microorganisms digest the organic pollutants, converting them into harmless byproducts. Aeration System 
For aerobic biological treatment, an aeration system provides oxygen to support the growth of aerobic bacteria. This promotes the breakdown of organic compounds in the sewage. Clarify a secondary treatment tank. The clarified water from the primary treatment tank undergoes further treatment in a secondary treatment tank. This stage helps remove remaining suspended solids and additional impurities. Filtration system Some marine sewage treatment plants may include a filtration step to further polish the treated water by removing fine particles and impurities. Disinfection unit this component is responsible for killing or inactivating harmful pathogens, bacteria, and viruses present in the treated water. Common methods include chlorination, ultraviolet irradiation, or ozonation. Monitoring and control system Modern marine sewage treatment plants are equipped with monitoring and control systems to ensure the efficient operation of the treatment processes. These systems may include sensors, alarms, and automation features. Sludge Treatment Unit The sludge generated during the treatment process, primarily from sedimentation and biological processes, undergo separate treatment. This may involve further digestion, deuteraging, and disposal or reuse methods. Effluent Quality Monitoring System A system for monitoring the quality of the treated effluent ensures that it meets the required standards and complies with environmental regulations. Pumping System Pumps are used to transfer sewage between different treatment stages and ensure the proper flow of wastewater through the treatment plant. Control Panel and Instrumentation a control panel provides operators with the ability to monitor and control various aspects of the treatment process. Instrumentation may include gauges, meters, and indicators for key parameters. The design and components of marine sewage treatment plants must comply with international regulations, such as Marple Annex 4, which sets standards for sewage discharge from ships to prevent pollution of the marine environment. Treating sewage on ships involves a series of processes to remove or reduce contaminants, pathogens, and pollutants from the wastewater before it is discharged into the marine environment. The basic processes in treating sewage on ships can be outlined as follows. Screening The sewage undergoes an initial screening process to remove larger solids such as debris, paper, and plastics. This helps prevent clogging of downstream treatment equipment. Primary treatment In the primary treatment stage, the screened sewage enters a tank where physical processes like sedimentation and settling occur. Heavier solids settle at the bottom, forming sludge, while partially clarified water moves to the next stage. Biological treatment some marine sewage treatment systems incorporate biological treatment, utilizing microorganisms to break down organic matter in the sewage. This can occur through aerobic or anaerobic processes, depending on the design of the system. Aeration If aerobic biological treatment is employed, an aeration system provides oxygen to support the growth and activity of aerobic bacteria. This enhances the breakdown of organic compounds in the sewage. Secondary treatment The sewage then moves to a secondary treatment stage, which may involve additional biological processes, further settling, or other methods to remove remaining suspended solids and impurities. Filtration some marine sewage treatment plants incorporate a filtration step to further polish the treated water by removing fine particles and impurities. Disinfection 
the treated water undergoes disinfection to kill or inactivate harmful pathogens, bacteria, and viruses. Common methods include chlorination, ultraviolet irradiation, or ozonation. Monitoring and control Throughout the treatment process, a monitoring and control system oversees key parameters such as water quality, flow rates, and treatment efficiency. This ensures the system operates within specified parameters. Effluent quality monitoring A dedicated system monitors the quality of the treated effluent to ensure that it meets the required standards and complies with environmental regulations. The specific processes can vary based on the type and capacity of the sewage treatment system installed on the ship, as well as the regulatory requirements of the vessel's operating region. Compliance with international regulations, such as Marple Annex 4, is critical to ensure that the treated sewage meets environmental standards before discharge into the sea. The international regulations governing marine sewage discharge are primarily outlined in Annex 4 of the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships. MARPL is a set of regulations developed by the International Maritime Organization to prevent various forms of marine pollution caused by ships. Here are the key aspects of the regulations related to marine sewage discharge. MARPL Annex 4 Regulations for the Prevention of Pollution by Sewage from Ships Scope The regulations of MARPL Annex 4 apply to all ships engaged in international voyages, as well as certain types of ships operating in specific designated areas. Category A, B, and C Sewage the regulations classify sewage into three categories. Category A, sewage containing pathogenic bacteria and other harmful microorganisms. Category B, sewage containing nutrients that may lead to, lead to algal blooms. Category C, sewage that does not fall into category A or B. Discharge prohibitions. Discharge of sewage is generally prohibited in specific areas such as within special areas, in territorial seas, near ice-covered areas, in the Antarctic, special areas. Marple Annex for designates certain areas as special areas where more stringent sewage discharge standards apply. These areas have sensitive ecosystems, and additional measures are taken to protect them. Standard for sewage treatment plants Ships are required to be equipped with an approved sewage treatment plant capable of meeting the standards specified in the regulations. The treated sewage must meet the discharge criteria set by Annex 4. Retention of sewage in areas where discharge is restricted or prohibited, ships are required to retain sewage on board until they reach an area where discharge is permitted. Documentation and record keeping In areas where discharge is restricted or prohibited, ships are required to retain sewage on board until they reach an area where discharge is permitted. Reporting Incidents of non-compliance or accidental discharges must be reported to the relevant authorities. These regulations are designed to minimise the impact of sewage discharge from ships on the marine environment, protecting both ecosystems and public health. Compliance with MARPOL Annex 4 is a crucial aspect of responsible maritime operations. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned something about sewage treatment plant, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you on the next one.